Hello there, today I'm here to finally resume my Paddling in Independent Publisher series. I haven't read one for about a month, I think, maybe just over, um, but I am currently paddling in Blue Moose books and this is the second Blue Moose book I have read, which I actually got in the moth box in the beginning of the year and that is Sharon Doggle's The Handsworth Times. This is set in Handsworth during 1980s um, and Margaret Thatcher's come into power, everything's kind of changing and racial issues are coming to the fore and issues of sort of class and things like that which is causing riots in this town of Handsworth and all across working class towns um, and we start this book during one of these riots and something happens which involves a loss. I don't want to say too much about it but it involves a loss. Um, I think it's important to say that because the rest of the book is very much a result of this loss that happens in the beginning um, and it's basically about the way uh, families deal with grief and also the way that people come together and communities come together when political turmoil starts coming to the fore and how people deal with that. Um, the first thing I would say about this is that I didn't love it. It's The writing is very bizarre in that it I think the main problem is that Sharon Doggle doesn't use abbreviations, so instead of saying it's, she will say it is. Um, and at times it kind of just felt like it was a bit like this and then they went to this place and it was lovely. Um, it, it was a bit robotic because it didn't use abbreviations and I do think even though using abbreviations in your writing is a matter of personal taste it just makes it flow a lot better um, especially with the speech in this was really really bad um, not only were the things that characters said unrealistic but they were also really badly written like Sharon Doggle almost tried to play around with vernacular and used sort of ain't it and stuff like this but it would be like it is a lovely day ain't it um <laughs> which just didn't work that's not how people speak but that said I did manage to put those issues to the side and I was sort of editing it in my head as I read it to sort of make it sound more natural flowing to me um and I could kind of get past it the plot wasn't the best, but I think something that I read during the reading of this actually was about writing a novel and how when we write a novel we always go to like the creme de la creme literary gods um, as our inspiration and actually you should start with people who are just starting out because that is the level that you're going to be at and I think having that attitude made me enjoy this book a lot more because I think it is, it's a very early work it's not the creme de la creme of literary fiction, but it's got something. It's definitely the beginning of a career, I think. Um, I don't know if it's Sharon Doggle's first book, but my feeling is that it probably is. Um, so I think as a starting point, it's not half bad. I mean, it had a plot, it had enough to hold it together. I quite liked the underlying tension and the way the characters built. One thing I would say is that because we're with this one family, um, there are quite a few characters to get your head around in the start. And for the first few chapters, I sort of felt a bit lost as to who was who. Um, but that does come better and you do get used to who the characters are. And yeah, I didn't love, love, love it, but it was okay. I kind of found quite a pleasure in reading it in the end. And I do find that these Blue Moose books are quite fast reads. I mean, this one's got a fair bit of writing to a page. But I managed to get through it in about three sittings, and there was never a point where I really wanted to put it down. Um, it was a three star for me, and actually I think having this revelation with this book is going to make it easier to read the other Blue Moose books. It certainly made it easier to understand the Blue Moose books that I have already read. I do have a feeling that Blue Moose kind of publish books that probably wouldn't get published elsewhere but then at the same time isn't that the whole point of independent publishers is to give people a platform and a starting point and in that respect I really am growing to respect them. So yes um, I'll link my other Blue Moose review down below and also the video in which I show all the Blue Moose books that I will be reading. Hopefully I'm going to speed this up a bit because I kind of like to be getting finished with Blue Moose towards the start of next year so we'll see and I will see you next time. Bye!